I'm going to show you how to make sure the second phrase it doesn't change. So this one, this part gets a bit harder. So I'm going to go really slow, but please raise any question you may have. You want to go to the option set. So here's the option label is what your client will be seeing on the, on the shop. So you can always change that to, for example, let's say, uh, choose your favorite flower. This could be either like choose to who this gift is for or choose who's going to receive the, this gift, whatever you think is better. And then when you go down, you will see the such values. And when you click on the swatch, you'll see the flower itself. That's in the image position, option number two. Uh, we always recommend have one selected. So whenever a client just logs in and looks at the product, it will previously have something to see. And we're going to change the number of the flowers. So it, it looks better in the front end. So we have flower one. Flower two, flower three, and flower number four. There we go. You can see that because I wrote the same one that's previously written, it's going to tell me that's not an option. So I just change it for something else. Always remember to save the option set here as you work to make sure you don't lose anything. The same with Word or any or anything you work like this. So we have the uh, made our first option, which is going to make it small again. And then the text input. This is a part of the text we don't want them to change. This is a phrase we always want to be available. So first of all, we're going to write it. Uh, we wanted to say uh, the prettiest flower in the garden. That way, our clients will know what's the phrase that's going to say. So instead of um, the placeholders will be, will be appearing on our product. And we want to hide the option. We don't want to give them the change to change it. This is this way, if you hide the option, they cannot change this. So they always get the British flower in the garden as the main option. And there we go. We save the option set. And then we just go back to store. Again, let me know if I'm going too fast. Oh, I think someone is writing. No, it's not. Perfect. Uh, let's make sure we have everything properly. We don't want them to see the option set. Everything looks good. Yes. Yes, Sandra. We perfil it with what we want and hide the option. That way you make sure no one changes it at all. It's always going to be the same sentences. And you can always duplicate either the option set or the product. So you have many options. But yeah, it's... Once you get the hang of it, uh, customing is way easier to use than it looks like. I promise you that. Uh, let's go back to store so we can publish our beautiful pillow with our flower set. So we just go to products. Uh, we do like Jose Madrid today. We look for something that's not linked. And I'm going to take borrow this stock back. So we're going to look for our template that has the pillow and the flowers. It's going to be. Uh, let's see. There we go. You can see it's the last one. Always remember that last uh, template created always shows last. And always make sure to write better names than I did. It's going to be much easier to find it. Uh, it will ask us if we want to create an option set. But because we already personalized one, we just click not now. And we click assign another option set. And again, last one, or we can search it. Uh, there we go. Okay, perfect.